What goes on at this mysterious compound in upstate New York? Are their claims of organ harvesting true? Are the people inside members of a persecuted religious movement? Or an evil cult whose leader said aliens are trying to replace humans? On top of a mountain, at the western edge of New York's Hudson Valley, lies a secluded 400-acre campus known as Dragon Springs. This location is the headquarters of a spiritual movement called Falun Gong, the Law Wheel Practice. Some say Falun Gong is dangerous. Accounts from former practitioners and their family members appear to support these characterizations. You are absolutely not allowed to have any kind of medical treatment. It means you are a bad practitioner. It means you do not fully trust Master Li. Often described as secretive, Falun Gong says it's necessary to protect against persecution and spying from the Chinese government. We have seen embassy cars that's roaming around. Falun Gong, also called Falun Dafa, was started in China in 1992 by Li Hongzhi. It's a form of Qi Gong, traditional meditation and breathing exercises, but with spiritual and supernatural aspects added, including levitation and other extraordinary claims. By the late 1990s, popularity of the practice grew, but estimates of the number of practitioners widely vary. The group claims its practitioners include as many as 100 million people in China, a figure disputed by the Chinese government. In 1999, thousands of Falun Gong practitioners staged protests throughout China. These demonstrations alarmed the Chinese government. Falun Gong was banned and labeled an evil cult. The government crackdown continued on members of the now outlawed Falun Gong Meditation Group. Beijing banned that group on Thursday after several days of silent protest. Falun Gong books were confiscated, websites were blocked, and practitioners arrested. A protest in 2001 involved five people setting themselves on fire in Tiananmen Square. Falun Gong denies these claims. And a year later, Several members hijacked state-run TV to broadcast a video accusing the Chinese government of staging the self-immolation. Human Rights Watch reported a violent crackdown, but also state, almost all the information comes from either official Chinese government or Falun Gong sources. There is no sure way of checking the information from either source making it impossible to fully assess competing claims. They have engaged in illegal activities, like harassing governmental agencies, harassing media unit, whoever who have a different uh, you know, view with them, they will subject them to harassment, to the siege. All these facts violate the criminal code of China. The Chinese government says Falun Gong is an anti-society cult, which preaches heretical fallacies that are anti-humanity and anti-science, and exercises extreme mental manipulation on followers. Falun Gong practitioners outside of China have since established their own media to shape the narrative in their favor. This has led to what feels like a propaganda war with sensational claims on both sides. I believe it's important for people to know the truth of Falun Dafa because the free world is at stake. According to the Falun Dafa website, practitioners can achieve supernatural abilities and develop a powerful law wheel that sits in the lower abdomen. The law wheel can both heal sickness and eliminate evil for others, rectifying all abnormal conditions. Falun Gong's leader, Li Hongzhi, has also said that science was passed down to humans by alien beings for the purpose of controlling humankind, and that the moon was constructed by a humankind in the past, which was destroyed because its karma became too massive. Falun Gong also involves proselytizing, or spreading the message to convert people. 
Falun Gong practitioners refer to this as clarifying the truth. I had been many opportunities to come across people from China at work, and I always try to clarify the truth to them about Falun Dafa, uh, because I found that almost always a lot of Chinese people had misunderstanding about Falun Gong. One example of clarifying the truth from a Falun Gong website says that the mark of the beast mentioned in the Bible is the oath people make to join the Chinese Communist Party. Opposition to the Chinese government seems to be a large part of clarifying the truth and can be found in speeches by Li Hongzhi and the numerous media outlets associated with Falun Gong. The Falun Gong has several media arms. One is the Epoch Times, one is um, NDTV, which is uh, their television production company, which they make tons of weird interviews and they do YouTube shows. And then the other is Shen Yun. So that's their media arm. And they represent Epoch Times as you know the new conservative player on the block. But really, this is a decades old um, media arm of a ch anti-Chinese government um, propaganda outlet. Epoch Times representatives deny an affiliation with Falun Gong, despite the two groups' clear financial and organizational ties. Li Hongzhi, the leader of Falun Gong, has repeatedly referred to Epoch Times, NTD TV, and others as our media, and answered questions from his disciples about these outlets at Falun Gong conferences. He also mentions that promoting these media outlets serves as clarifying the truth. Falun Gong adherents have endured 20 years of brutal persecution in China, including forced labor, torture, murder, and live organ harvesting. Possibly the most prevalent message from Falun Gong is the horrifying accusations of forced organ harvesting by the Chinese government. The allegations are that hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners are in a vast network of labor camps across China and are being put on lists for organ extraction. China denies all accusations of organ harvesting, saying, the so-called forced organ harvesting in China is a big lie, fabricated by the Falun Gong cult and some anti-China forces to smear China, deceive the international community, and conceal the nature of the cult. China admits it used to take organs from executed prisoners and claims it stopped the practice in 2015. China saying we stopped harvesting organs from prisoners in 2015 is hardly the defense I expected. But the claims from Falun Gong are also uncorroborated. In 2006, US officials visited a facility claimed to be used as a detention center for as many as 6,000 Falun Gong prisoners, and found no evidence that the site is being used for any function other than as a normal public hospital. Similarly, a government response from Australia states, we are aware of the statistics which allege that there are a very large number of transplants occurring in China but we do not have any basis for accepting that those statistics are accurate. With both China and Falun Gong engaged in a media war with sensational accusations, it's hard to know where the truth lies in all of this. On May 15th, thousands of Falun Gong practitioners are marching in a parade from near the United Nations building to the other end of the city, passing right in front of the Chinese consulate. <laughs> Some of the claims are so over the top that it almost sounds like the plot from a science fiction movie. A spiritual group with supernatural powers, including levitation and the ability to heal themselves, is being targeted by an evil oppressive government that is harvesting their organs. The secretive nature of both sides makes it hard to know what to believe. Looking through Falun Gong websites, it's easy to see where anti-science accusations and other criticisms come from. I think the truth probably lies somewhere between the competing claims of Falun Gong and the Chinese government. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other videos, which cover a wide variety of subjects.